and we are back. We are back. We are back. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. Welcome, welcome. Hold on. There we go. All right. Welcome back to Stardew Valley, you guys. We are here at. Uh, <laughs> I forgot the name of a farm. Hold on. <laughs> Chip and note farm, there we go. And I am Mini Mercy, you may call me Mercy. And um, we, in the last episode, we left actually at the end of day five. This is in fact the end of day six. Let me explain. So, basically, I took a whole day just to fish. But I did a couple more things besides fishing. Well, I crafted myself a scarecrow just in case because I don't want to find a crow particularly munching on my uh, crops so I also chopped a little bit of wood also I watered my crops and that's pretty much all I did also during my fishing day because all I did was fishing really did not want to show you guys but if you want to see just fishing days and let me know right for now I'm skipping them so um, when I was fishing, it was actually, let me show you. Oh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb, a shard of my knowledge from the future. The spirits are very happy today. But yeah, we have very, very, very good luck. It will be a plus two. So that means that I was able to find a little bit of treasure during my fishing. And uh, I found bait which I ended up thrashing, sadly, because my inventory was full. I found six iron ores, and I ended up putting one in the shipping bin to make sure that my uh, shipping bin uh, list gets at least one entry there. <laughs> I also found the diamonds, which was a very nice surprise. And I also found exactly four frozen tears which are gems if you don't know and that's a really good deal four frozen tears in just one treasure chest in fishing i think it's pretty good so while i was fishing i gave one of the f uh, frozen tears to sebastian because i know those are his favorite and i was thinking oh you know what we have exactly four no it's saturday we have to be able to give these frozen tears to him three more times. And this is, I guess, the end of our first week. Wow. All right. We tried, I guess. <laughs> and well, yeah. Uh, let me check the weather for tomorrow before I go to bed, because as you can see, it's 1.10 in the morning. Welcome to Cosu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. So yeah, let's go to bed right away. All I have in my inventory is my sword, but I used to have my fishing rod. Yeah, here we go, level 3 fishing. Uh, we can now craft craft pots and cook the dish of the sea. We don't have a kitchen just yet, so we're gonna be just waiting for opportunity for that one. And we got a little bit of money out of that. Yep, nice money. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Now, I think there's a little bit of something that I want to do today in this episode also. And I did not click on my missions right away, just so I can be able to show it to you guys and share it with the world of what's up, what's going on. So let's click in our missions. Yep, yep. So I got the reward for this one because I crafted a scarecrow. As you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. So we'll collect the reward. Thank you very much. All right, let's check. Oh, we have Queen of Sauce. Weather report. That's going to be tomorrow, sunny day. Nice, nice. Fortune Taylor, welcome to Wellwick's Oracle, the only show where, you, the, where the voice of the spirits is channeled directly to you. All right, the spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands, so we have a zero stat of luck today. Nice, nice. 
and the queen of sauce. Greetings, it is I, the queen of sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, stir fry. It's a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Oh, that's good. <laughs> nice, and we'll learn how to cook stir fry. Awesome. All right, so I have a few goals in mind anyway. First, we'll put away your inventory. Let's clear it. I also want to go to the mines. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventure spirit. That much I can tell. If you can slay 10 slimes, you'll be earned your place in my adventurer's guild. Be careful, Marlon. And another one. Dear Farmer Mercy, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really a nice little house. <laughs> yeah, it is, of course it is. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and a pay fee, I can expand your house. Continues the next page, all right. <laughs> the first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley, your local carpenter, Robin. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> she apologizes. Oh, I see that we have a flower ready. Hold on, let's deposit all of this. So, I have a few objectives for today. First is that we're gonna walk into town and trigger a cutscene, which will unlock us the community center, which is always good news, and find out what we have to do this month. Also, I wanna go to the mines and get more copper, so we can upgrade our ads right away. It will cost us 2,000, I think, so we'll do our best. Also, before we go to the mines, it is very important that we craft ourselves a chest and a furnace. How much? Uh, sorry, 25 stone and 20 copper ore. We do not have the copper ore, so I'm guessing that we're gonna be taking our little uh, furnace that we have outside. This is just to leave it outside the mines. Let's see. And yeah, pretty much. I guess we can go and gift this to Alex and to Sebastian, respectively. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I ate some of my spring onions, in case you notice uh, some sort of discrepancy between last episode and this one. Uh, to regain some of my energy, of course. Also, let's see. Yeah, pretty much. I guess we're ready. Uh, oh, of course, my sword. Of course, of course. Uh, we'll be taking, let's see, I guess we're gonna be taking these so we can smelt them while we're in the mines. And yeah, let's go. Ah, oh, hold on. Oh, how could I forget? I also have to, hold on, is that ready? Yeah, it's ready. I also have to uh, water my crops and pick them up. Look at that. Here we have our very first tulip. Oh, get away with. And our very first two, uh, what is this, kale? I think it's kale. Pretty sure it's kale. Yeah, kale, nice. How happy times. <laughs> I wonder if you can hear my dog. Yeah, yeah. She's trying to intimidate her own tail, you see. <laughs> well, if I was her tail, I would be pretty scared. Oh, we're out of water. Oh, I may have to put a little bit of a path down here. Uh, if you don't know, paths such as this one and this one, oh, and this one, of course, do make your walking just slightly uh, faster. It is barely noticeable, but it does help a little bit because there are times where you may get a little bit frustrated with the walking speed because this is as fast as you can go and you can in fact go slower if I use the uh, direction paths I walk instead of using the left stick and I imagine that that was a choice made so in a way that you can be a little bit more precise with the tiling and the planting and all of that and the watering of course also let me put the zoom 
back in we were at 90s if i remember all right i zoomed out because i was fishing and here's a little tip you can zoom out of the screen so it's easier for you to spot nearby areas where bubbles may pop out in the water because oh <laughs> ferocious dog because bubbles are in fact didn't we have another flower <gasps> do you think it got eaten by a crow oh oh my goodness well we'll sell you got you guy <laughs> for now but the bubbles give you much more chances of finding fish and everything of the like you better not miss on them they are very good and i guess we're ready oh what is this also initiation if you can slay 10 slimes you'll have earned your place at the adventure skills nice i am totally going to do that combat in stardew valley is super fun by the way it's not very fun the first times only because you are given a very bad sword but you get used to it and it kind of in, in, invites you like it's kind of like in, exciting to think that oh man i need to find me a better weapon an invitation to continue playing and here we go hi oh hi there hi lewis dot 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 what an eyesore This is the Pelican Town Community Center. Or what's left of it anyway? It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Tell me about it. Now just look at it, it's shameful. These days the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. It's curious that he says that, but listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Joya Corporation has been f hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah well. If anyone else buys a Joya Co membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. Oh yeah. Ah. Here, let's go inside. Oh, we're inside. What's up here? It's all abandoned and haunted. Mm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. <laughs> Why with the little house? <laughs> this place is even more dil uh, dilapidated than I remember. Ah. Lewis, watch out! I will save you from the demon. <laughs> huh? What? What demon? What? What? What's the matter? Are you ill? <gasps> but I saw it right there! I saw it! <sighs> you saw something? Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. <laughs> ah! There it is again! <gasps> the demon! <laughs> <laughs> You're worrying me, Mercy. Demons don't exist. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. Mmm, lunch. Hmm, I wonder what, what I saw. Hey, I keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Alright. Oh, sorry about that. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Hmm, all right. Let's go in though. Let's go back in. And here it is. Everybody, the community center. Welcome, welcome. This is our very first uh, little mission, which is going to be deciphering all of this. <laughs> which we won't be able to decipher just yet. We have to wait just a little further. 
the waiting game, as always, as always. Now, let's see. We have with ourselves a few couple items. I want to give this soda to Sam. I will not give up on that idea. I will give this to George, however. This is my favorite thing, thank you. Aren't you cold? They don't have make sweaters like they used to. Ah. <laughs> I may be a little cold. I don't know. I have not asked little me. I don't think she's cold, honestly. The weather looks super nice outside. But I, oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I will not give up on giving this soda to Sam. <gasps> He's just staring at no, no. All right. <laughs> Gosh dang it! It's Sunday already. Were we even able to? Oh, we can't tell anymore. Huh? Well. All right. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. All right, all right, all right. Let's go to the mines anyway. It's 11 a.m. already, my goodness. Going up to the mines. Also, you may have noticed, but the uh, game's music is back on again. Well, you see, I, or more like one of my friends told me something interesting. He said during one of his streams that the Stardew Valley music is almost free of copyright. <laughs> or more like Concert Ape, the creator of the game, doesn't mind people using his music in like videos and such. So I will take his word for it. All right, let's put this one here and this one here. Now, in this box, wait, did I not bring my sword? <gasps> did I not bring my sword? Oh my goodness. Oh, maybe I did not. All right. Mm. Ah, all right then. That means we go back. Oh, wait, 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 I just remembered that I have to smell some ore. Let's take this five and this little guy. And there we go. Like that, beautiful. Also, let me think. How are we doing with Leah? We don't have a single <laughs> heart with her. All right, I was, I was kind of hopeful. So that's not gonna work, huh? All right, then we'll, I guess we'll try. I mean, we can just continue trying. We have enough money to buy a salad. If things go south, I'm starting to think maybe we should do that. Is he not out yet? Nope, okay. My goodness. I am guessing that he's gonna be out once we reach Sam's house. But I don't know where Sam would be, honestly. Well, we can go ahead and search for him, honestly. We don't lose anything besides a little bit of our time. And you know, time is not that important in Stardew Valley, honestly. You may think it is. But you can go to your own pace. Never feel overwhelmed by it, alright? Um, let's see. <gasps> nice! Here, take it! Thanks, I really like this. Oh, it's a nice day, isn't it? Yep. Hi, little boy. Hi there, miss. All right. <laughs> That's it, pretty much. I mean, I guess now that I'm in town, I should buy a salad and still try my best. It's 2 p.m. Yeah, he should be here. Hi, Gus. Let's see. Uh, I will only buy one because spend that much money I am kind of short on it now let's see where will Leah be at this hour mm, Abigail is going that way but I don't think they are friends right I don't think they hang out I was hoping to see her down here 
If I don't spot her, then I'll just leave towards the mountains again. Nope. Okay. Huh. Well. Well. Anna says, well. Let's walk back to the mountains. Oh, you know what? I kind of miss the in game music, I'm not gonna lie. It's really nice. Especially in the spring. The spring is my favorite, favorite, favorite Stardew Valley season. Hi, Lewis. Hmm, I'm trying to think. At what hour do you think we're gonna find Leah at the bar? Because she goes there every day, right? Thinking around 7 p.m. That sounds a little bit early, but sounds reasonable. No! No! Oh my god. Where is he going now? Don't tell me he's going to bed. Oh. Stupid Sebastian. <laughs> Oh, that was just so unfortunate, gosh dang it! <laughs> I was just lucky enough to find the gifts that he loves in a fishing treasure. Ah, oh, but I guess I was lucky enough to not know. You know what? Ah, oh, I forgot my sword! <laughs> oh my god, hell on earth! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, alright. Nothing went according to plan, but that's alright. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. Ah, <sighs> happens more often to me than you may believe. Alright, I guess in our walk back home. Wait, what was that? What was that? What was that? Who was that? I was Robin, alright. <laughs> I heard the door. Mm, I will take this leg though. Hmm. 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 Did I really not bring my sword? I guess I didn't. Well, where is my head today anyway? Where is everybody today anyway? Yup, here it is. Oof. 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 Oh, you know what? Okay, fine. Then I guess I am going back. To the salon, I hope to find Leah along the way. Is it Leah or Leah? I don't know. <laughs> you guys let me know. There goes Harvey though. I guess he's going inside. Do you guys really think that it's impossible for me to... Oh, there goes Elliot. Uh, he's not here yet. Oh, excuse me. That it's not possible for me to find a dance partner before the dance. You know what? Who knows? There goes Shane. Hi, Shane. I'm busy, can't you tell? Well, I see you just walking around. That's right. I just wanted to say hello. Hmm. I do not see her in a proximity. Or I oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Zoom out. <laughs> Try and find her in the map somewhere. I don't see her. I don't see her. Oh, I guess today it just became a day of walking around. You know what? I'm not too mad about that. It was a day where we had no profit. Also. Oh no, wait. I did sell exactly one kill. That is already something, I guess. So let's stay positive. You don't think she's already here, right? Hmm. Well, I am puzzled, uh, vexed, and bamboozled, and a little bit gooped. Hmm. What should we do then? Let me think. If only we I had a calendar in hand. Well, it's already the second week. We are two weeks left and maybe just a few days. In two weeks. Hmm. It's not like we can invite George and Linus. 
<laughs> to dance with us. It has to be a bachelor or a bachelorette. Hmm. Um, well, that's hard. I mean, I mean, Emily is easy to find. But if I'm not mistaken, she only likes precious stones, I guess. Hmm. I am hesitant to give this stone to Emily. Uh, gosh, that's hard. Do you think she would like any of this food? Hmm. Oh my god, do we invite Shane? Oh my god. We would need 400, 800 gold in a week just to be able to afford two beers for the two weekly gifts. Hmm. Oh, here's Clint. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sat on a chair. You have work to do. Oh, come on, Clint. I'm trying to be friendly. Leah did not arrive. Oh, but you know what? In a previous episode, in our second one, actually, we tried to catch Sebastian out of his room and he arrived back home rather late. I'm hoping that I can be lucky again, that I can catch him. I can no longer go inside his house and wait for him at this hour, but... Maybe I can catch him on his way to his house and give him his tear. Oh, it's a nightmare, I tell you. <laughs> hmm. If I knew the day was gonna... Oh! He's there! Oh my goodness! Thank the stars for our zoom out! I really love this, how did you know? Oh! I had a hunch! <laughs> please go to the dance with me! Please go to the dance with me! Anybody please go to the dance with me! Alright. I mean, it's pretty early. I guess I can still <laughs> spend just a little bit of time in the mines. I will... Oh, oh, that's right. I will leave the zoom all the way at the back like that. Oh, come on, slime. No, don't. Oh my goodness, that one is a uh, gray rock, so... It means that it will take two hits for us to break. So I'm gonna be leaving it alone. Let's see what we can find. I'm hoping to find more copper. Oh! One copper! Uh-huh, it's getting a little bit dark. I know that there are some levels that are gonna be dark soon enough. It would be nice to find a glowing ring also. What's up, slime? Stop your attack and corner you. We slay you, slime. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I do not see the stairs. Oh, there they are. Wait, wait, wait. I want this rock. There we go. <laughs> we only progressed one floor. And we may call it a day. Honestly. It's alright. Um, let me step on this a uh, little patch of dirt. In hopes to find one of those earthworms. No worm. Alright. Oh, it's already midnight. I should be going. Oh. Hold on, I will take this though. Oh, there we go. Alright. And we're out. Let's go. Let's hurry up back home, shall we? We don't want to pass out. Also, let's see. Hmm. We don't have enough ore. I will take my bars though. Mm, and I guess I'll take this stuff. Yeah, we'll leave that there. Alright. There goes a rabbit bunny hair. Walking along the grass. There goes a bunny rabbit hair. Walking along to meet its friend. 
Do you guys think we're gonna make it? No, we're gonna make it. Who am I kidding? We're gonna make it. <laughs> well, that was one weird Sunday, if I say so myself. I know, little me, don't worry. You will find a slime outside our house. Okay, so let me use this button. Mm -hmm. It's nice that we have a copper bar. And I will take out my watering can for tomorrow. And yeah, all right. You know what, maybe we should try. <laughs> Try it to start luck with trying to go to with Emily to the dance. Nice, little bit of coin, not too much, but still nothing. They ate of spring. Let's do this. Let's do this. Weather report: beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Ooh, bad luck today. Living of the land. Let's talk fences. Fences are useful for keeping weeds at bay and protecting your crops. They also let farmers contain their livestock. Fences break down after a while, but stone, iron and hardwood fences last a lot longer than basic wood. Ooh, yeah, we have a little bit of fencing around our area. Ooh, my sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your, um, rat problem. Emrus Morius Wizard. Ooh, ominous. Mirror fill my watering can. Before the world begins. Ah, oh, do you think Leia... Oh my god, I'm still thinking about Leia. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should go and try and catch her. Mm. I am thinking what to do today. Go ahead and catch her outside of her house at this hour before I do anything else. I don't know where she was. Maybe she could spend the day in her house. Or at the beach, I don't know. Hold on, hold on, let me check the calendar. Yeah, we have two weeks and two days. Egg festival. <gasps> it was the mayor's birthday and I didn't know. I forgot, I forgot. Yes, I will do this. It's part of the mission after all. Perfect timing, you might say. All right, let's make our way down here to the forest and trying to find Leah. Uh, do you guys think we should go ahead and go to the wizard? Yeah, I guess. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? I'm just trying to be nice, Shane. Up, up, it's the police. It's not the police, but she doesn't know that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, look, the bubbles. Those are the bubbles I was talking about. And guys, once this episode is over, I think I'm gonna be spending another day fishing. Oh, got stuck behind a bush. Open up. Hi. Mystical. Ah, come in. Hello. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths, mediary between physical and ethereal, master of the seven elementals, keeper of the sacred ca- uh, you get the point. <laughs> and you, Mercy, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Ooh. Here, I'd like to show you something. Show me, show me. Behold! Well, oh, it's the demon! Oh, the demon! Very cute demon. I like the demon. Wait. 
is it captive right now? You have seen one before, haven't you? Yep. In the community center, they call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Oh, goodbye! <laughs> I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Is that so? Watch him, watch him. There was a plaque there. Hmm? You found a golden scroll written in an unknown language? Oh, it was uh, a scroll, I see. Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. Alright? <laughs> he just teleports. <laughs> Mercy's like, wait, what the hell? I've never seen magic before. <laughs> I found the note. <laughs> the language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. <laughs> Here's my voice that I would give to the Unimos. We, the Unimos, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. <coughs> that was my voice, yes. Very good impression. Yes, yes. Hmm. One with the forest. What do they mean? Hmm. 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 Smells like... Aha! Uh -huh. Ah, aha! <laughs> Come here! I am coming, I am coming! Yes? What is it? My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, muskrat, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Oh, yeah! Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Uh, uh, fuchila. <laughs> oh, it replenished my energy. Nice. It's nasty though. Gross. Whoa. Wizard, I'm going through it. I'm going through it. Yes, you can feel it, right? Yeah, I can feel it. Ah, I can see it too. Yes, yes. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Ah, wizard! <laughs> the power of the trees. I guess that means we are becoming indeed one with the forest. Ah, I can hear the leaves rustling. The wind through my hair. Countless of ants that live nowhere and live everywhere at the same time. Oh, here we go. You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. Awesome. Sweet. Oh, and then he just kicks, kicks me out. Well... Ah yes, I have seen many things about your future, young Mercy. If I were to tell you, there could be grave consequences. <laughs> Alright. And that means that we have met officially everybody. Wizard, yep. Emras Podius. Thank you, dude. That was lovely. Now I am one with the trees. Wow. <laughs> that was a nice little cutscene. Sometimes you just have to go and get lost in the woods and drink the magic juice from the wizard tower <laughs> and become one with the trees. Oh yeah. Where the hell is Leah? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god there's bubbles over there oh Leah are you at the beach she's not at the beach right right right, right, right. at the corner yeah there's nobody there oh, I guess I go and try and uh, test my luck to find Sebastian Um, um, um. I did not water my crops. I did not water my crops. I guess I'll do that at night. Please remind me to bring my sword with me. 
I don't want to leave it at the mines. Let's see. Hello? Are you in there? He's not awake. All right. Let's see. Mm, yeah, I guess. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Please don't go to the computer. He's going to the computer. <laughs> All right. So that's, that's how it's gonna be, I guess. I'm just gonna have to meet him outside when he takes a smoke. I guess. Hi, Linus. The bubbles. The crisp air of the wi wilderness is all I care to know. I live out here by choice. Hmm. I guess he does live out here by choice. All right, and we are back. Oh, um, hold on. I did not bring my pickaxe. Oh my god. <laughs> it's because I left in such a hurry. You know what? I can't believe this episode. <laughs> I just can't believe this episode. I guess we're gonna be having to spend a whole day number one to fish and number two to catch people outside their houses yeah i'm guessing two days because it's two gifts a week basically anyway let's water our crops and then we go and continue our little trip to the mines water the crops water you and water you and water you with an beam watering our crops today your mm home -hmm. I'm trying to think of like lyrics for the spring season that we're gonna be having I hope to grab some beans and perhaps fight against the crows. Oh, hear me. Oh, my watering can is out of water. Oh, hear me when I say that we're gonna be needing more water than this. Please join me in this. Little adventure where I'm watering my little crops. Join me today and the next day. Waiting for you by your side. Mm, let's see, I think I'm gonna be selling this one. Ah, uh, fine, we'll do a whole day just to keep things. I'm not, I'm not trying it again for this episode at least. All right, let's see. What do I need the iron for? Oh, I need five bars to upgrade my axe. So I guess I'm gonna be holding it for now. The next thing that I wanna craft is maybe I create more wood fences. I kinda wanna craft everything, to be honest. The basic fertilizer. Also, our potatoes have grown. We should totally go ahead and buy some more seeds. We only bought three, didn't we? Hi, Leo Squirrel. Well, let's make our way back to the mines, shall we? Hi, Linus. My one and only friend. Oh, I already talked to you, I see, sorry. Well, let's see. Slay monsters. Initiation. Uh huh, uh huh. I see, I see. Everything's good, everything's good. Let's go back. Oh, nice, a book. I love these little guys. There's the stairs. Hold on. <laughs> nice. They gave me nice uh, bug meat. Let's see. Uh, two hit stone. I will slate this line though. Let me open this way over here. 
on this side. So it creates a little pocket of rocks that will keep us safe in case things get a little dangerous. Alright. And let me push you against those rocks. There, nice. Ooh. Why are so many of you guys? Oh, it's because it's a bad luck day. I see. Oh, be careful, be careful. <gasps> ah! We are poisoned, but it's all right. We have this little guy at our mercy, and we're not gonna have any. <laughs> all right. Floor full of slimes. I hope that I can make this little delivery thing happen. Slay you, come on! There we go, there we go. I do want this ore. And you know what else? I will be taking the torches with me. Totally. It's a free torch. We could use them in our farm. And around the city also. Nice. I'll check that, but I know that we need one more for the other one. There we go. Also, I see a whole bunch of ore. Uh, okay. I want to open this one. Talk to Lewis and initiation. Enter the adventurer skills. We can do that before night time. If I am not mistaken, they open, I mean, they close at 11 p.m. at night. <gasps> There's the, do the dog. <laughs> the worm. Nice! We got it! Uh huh. Alright. Oh! Slime cave. We do not want to be here today. Oh, oh, oh. We do not have rocks that could shield us. But we'll try our best. And also at the same time, infested floors always take such a long, long time to clear, honestly. Easy there, boys. Easy there. Especially with our sword. It's still a little bit too low level. <gasps> An amethyst, though! Uh -huh. Come on, there you go. I wonder if... In what floor are we? Level 7. Once we reach floor 10, I will empty my inventory. Come here, slime. Whoa, he ran through me. Right through me. Oh, caught him. Mid jump. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> I see him preparing for a leap. But I will let him. Oh, nice music. Oh. Is there another worm? Nope. But I will take the punk meat. Ah, she did not give me any. It's a bad luck day. So, in bad luck days, we usually get more monsters and less loot from if you're in the mines, that is. So keep that in mind. You may want to come to the mines when it's a good luck day instead. You know, you know, you know. All right. Destroy the crates, though. Sometimes they have nice things. Oh, be careful with my energy. Let's try and find floor 10 before we run out. Alright, we're starting to feel exhausted, so I guess I'm gonna have to eat this cake carrot. Hmm. If I am unable... Oh, I wasted my energy in that two-hit rock. If I am unable to find the stairs in any of the rocks before I run out of energy again... Yep. I think that I may craft myself a cherry bomb. What do I need? One coal, which is exactly one item that I'm missing. All right. Did not want to eat my cave carrot, but oh well. Oh! Oh! 
You found the geos! The local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside? Nice! Hi, buddy. Can you please give me the stairs when I slay you? Come on! No. <laughs> oh, he didn't give me a bomb, though! Alright, hold on. Tell you what. I will trash this up. Let me think. That would be a nice place to put this bomb. I guess over there. Here. Nice. <laughs> nice! A femur, of course! <laughs> it's exactly what I wanted! <laughs> What am I supposed to do with a beaver? <laughs> um, let's see. <laughs> oh, it's a weapon, of course. <laughs> oh my god. Also, it's too late for me to go to the adventures guild. Is it? I think they close at 10. Let's test our luck. Maybe they close at 11. Oh yeah, they close at 10. <clears throat> well, well, well. I will leave my old sword here then. Mm. I will leave my pickaxe also. I guess we can smelt some of this iron. We can only do one bar, we only got one goal exactly. We're gonna leave this here. Mm. And let's see. The geodes, I guess we take everything else, really. <laughs> a fever. <laughs> oh, it's a club. An old heavy bone caked in centuries of grime. Ew! <laughs> it's better than nothing, I guess. Well, it's about to be 11 p.m. Do we take the long route? I was thinking, who would accept this amethyst? And that would be... Maybe we will find Abigail? And I was kind of thinking, oh, we could also find Emily, but no, it may be too late for Emily. I think she goes home at 10. She ends her shift, I mean, with Gus. Hi, Slime. Ooh, heavy. Ooh, so that means that it has a special attack of a cloth? Oh yeah, <laughs> it does. I have never in my life used a cloth. You know why? Because sometimes they are a little bit slow. Also, the torches that we stole. <laughs> Let's put them around our house, shall we? And let's put another one right here. Mm -hmm. Nice. And we got nothing to sell. Go to sleep for the night? Yes. Ah, oh, well. We reached level one combat and we got plus five HP. Now we can craft a sturdy ring and a box stick. Ew. <laughs> but I guess I'm gonna end this episode right here, you guys. It was a little bit of a mess, I'm not gonna lie. But in general, I think, I think we did pretty good, right? We became one with the forest and all of that. <clears throat> in the next episode, I'm gonna spend a little bit of like a day just walking around and giving gifts to people to our main two objectives anyway three i forgot about some <laughs> i got so invested in the frozen deer that i forgot about some but yeah thank you so much for watching see you guys in another day in another episode in another video hopefully and thank you so much goodbye